Hi everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Live. This is going to be a fun one and I'm so excited that it is working out because uh, we are getting some work done on our house. We are getting uh, siding and new gutters. So hopefully my basement is not going to flood anymore. That will be very exciting. Not have to clean up that. Hi, I just missed somebody. Hello. Hi, Lisa, Charlotta. How's it going? Simone, Laura. Yeah, I'm happy to be here. My husband is a genius. He figured out, hey, Tanya. Hi, Joellen. Um, he figured out how to fix the internet wiring. There's Sarah and Diane. Um, yesterday, when they were doing the installation of the siding, hey, Sharon, they um, took out some of the wiring. And so last night we didn't have any. I was so mad. I wanted to watch the inauguration. And just kind of be sorry about that. I had a phone call. Hey, Sarah, Lizzie, Andrea, Kathleen. Uh, hey, there's Leslie. So anyway, um, I missed that. But the house is looking better, Laura. <laughs> it looked pretty bad with all that green stuff on it and all the junk around. But, you know, that just makes it look better when it's all fixed. So they're doing all kinds of work on it. Um, and they did a roof in two days. That was Monday and Tuesday. And then today until I think Friday or Saturday they're gonna do hey Jane hi Kimberly they're going to do the siding all the soffits uh, gutters all that stuff Blah. anyway so hi Jill so it might be kind of loud good Tanya Tanya has not been up to speed so I'm happy to see her hey Loretta so today there's Anna hi so today we're going to make our little spinny thing. And I realized, because people were saying, how do you put the bottom on? I realized there's Candace. Hey. And Anne, hi. That um, I had never shown how to do this because I didn't have them at the time. So I thought I'm just going to go through really quickly and show you how to put it together. So then we'll have everything all in one uh, video and sorry if you guys have seen it before, but I am going to do things a little bit differently. Hi, Katharina and Angie. Maz, how are you guys? So, um, I had to go out to the car to get my drink and I'm so thirsty. So today I had a somewhat disastrous practice again on that format that we're doing with the Sizzix trade show. And, but anyway, we figured it out and this technology just drives you nuts. Hi, Melissa. Good to see you here. Hi, Donna. So we're going to pretty much go right to it. And there are a couple things that I figured out. Um, hey, Sharon. Uh, and just, uh, I don't know if I showed you these, but I did this. We did a couple, maybe a week ago. Hi, Jill and Karen and another Karen. Um, we had watercolored these flowers and then we put them on. Yeah. Okay. You know what? Maybe this will, hi Tippin. Maybe this will get everybody inspired to do one because it really does not take very long. I even in the middle of all this stuff, I cranked out some of the stuff. Oh, your folio arrived today. Yay. Uh, and it, it went, it's going to go pretty quickly, I think. So here is the cover. I did go ahead and ink this in yellow and I do like it a little better. Although I liked it the other way too. Hi, Sarah. So this is one, the one we did a couple weeks ago or a week ago. This is the notebook with watercolored flowers. And then these are the ones that we made the other day. And I did put some books in here and I really, really like it. So um, it was very quick and it, it was actually some scrap paper that I had, but I'm going to put this in my purse and bring it with me and just be able to put some notes in it. And then here's the cork one that we did and the placemat, the gold placemat. I like the yellow too. It just finished it, I think. So I haven't finished these yet, but... I'm gonna because they're really cute and these would make great gifts and you saw how quickly they went so and don't you know don't be afraid to experiment with stuff that you guys have hi Barbara so let's um let's just go through what you're gonna need for this project because you do have to have a couple things and I would recommend that you have enough paper because if you mess up and you don't have enough you're just like ah! 
Oh, thanks, Karen. Good. Um, what I did was, this is not a real imaginative one, but I got a pack of paper, which I really like, and it seemed kind of Valentine-y. It is, it's called um, My Valentine by Simple Stories. This was over at um, Tuesday morning, and it was $4.99 for 25 sheets. So if I mess this up, you know, I'm going to be okay. And I know that it's double-sided, so I can do, you know, two colors. So they're going to look like this. Uh, and there are a couple tips, because if you're using any... Oh, there's Sheena. Uh, if you're using anything that has text on it or has to go the right way, just a few tips for you, because I didn't do this last time, because I used all um, patterns that were didn't matter what direction. Hey, Maria! Also, don't do what I did... <laughs> This is a rookie mistake, but I still did it. But then I started thinking, you know, this would be really pretty with some doodling on it, and then you still have your pretty pattern inside. So we're gonna go ahead and put one of these together. And again, this is what we're gonna be making, and we are gonna try to do it from beginning to end. We're using the gift box die. Let me show you. Um, these are the things that I'm using, and these work good for me, but use what you guys have. Uh, but if you need any of this stuff, I have it in the Etsy store, and I also just got in a shipment of my little crafty carousels. They're $4, so if you need them. Hey, there's Ulrika. Good to see you. I hope you're doing okay, Ulrika. Okay, so just to review, these are what I use. This is the gift box die, and this is going to make our square in the center, okay? That's going to hold all the other post box dies on. So this is the other die. We use this for the middle and this for the four little boxes around. Now, I've seen some really creative other things like... Um, Leslie, now she got this cone die, which is an older one, and it's a pro die, but she put that in the center of hers and stored her scissors and bigger things. I've also seen people using the scallop box die to put like on top of the, hey, there's Mitziana. Wait, did I see Mitziana? Or Miriam, Allison. <laughs> uh, they put another box on top of this to add. So... Oh, I saw Jane. That was so nice of Ulrika. We have such friendly and nice people in our group. All right, now this, I used mat board. Last time I used chipboard, but I want to see what it looks like because I think this is just going to look a little bit uh, cleaner. There's Gina. Hi, Sue. So I'm going to use mat board. You're going to use a good bit of it, probably a whole pack. And then I'm going to use my easy cut adhesive to adhere it all together, which really did work out well. Hey, there's KC. She's our new uh, new person in the fan club. So hi, KC. And hey, Jill. All right, we're also going to use some of the uh, easy, the red liner tape, because you really need a strong adhesive. Okay, good. Good to see you. I know you're new. I'm happy you're here. Okay, so we were just all kind of saying hi. We do that. Hey, Judy. And, um... So if you have any questions, just ask in the group. Everybody's so friendly and really um, very helpful. Hi, Emily. So uh, go ahead and just ask in there. If When I turn the camera down, sometimes I get a little uh, distracted. So Emma, if you don't have the post box die, see if you have something else you can use, you know? And there's Glum, good. We do, we do have a good time. Okay. So what I'm going to do is turn the camera down and then we'll go to town. Now, also, if you want to see more samples, hi, Darlene, um, go ahead over in the fan club. If you're not a member, go join Eileen Hull Fan Club on Facebook and make sure to answer the questions. Hi, Tippin. Um, so what size is the carousel? Let's uh, measure that when I turn it down. Okay, I'm going to put my ruler here so I remember. Um, if, but if you're not in the fan club, make sure you answer the questions, okay? Because we're, we're really getting kind of picky about that because we just really want to have people that want to be there, okay? And not strange people. I mean, you know, not that I'm not strange, but, <laughs> you know, not creepy people. 
which I'm sure you're not. So answer the question. Say you saw Facebook Live and you want to join. Okay. Hi, Paula. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera down and then we'll get to work. All right. So here is the carousel. So let's measure it. It is, hmm, wait, let me just get my thing going so I can see your questions, if you have any, but uh, I'm going to say like seven wide, maybe, and that would be square, because, you know, they're the same things. Um, no, actually, six and a half, uh, six, probably six, six inches this way, and... It is five inches tall. And then when you put your stuff in it, you know, it's a little taller. So let's see, there we go. I have you guys, good. And comments, yay. You didn't go to Tuesday morning, so you could be here. You sacrificed, Leslie, you are too good. <laughs> so here it is, and that's how it spins around. Now this is one of the things that I used it for but there are some really pretty ones over on the, uh, in the fan club that uh, used it for different purposes. Jenny uh, Atkinson just did one. They're really fun to just spin. Uh, she just did one. She has all her tags and index cards and stuff like that. Now, I this is another one that I had made, but I didn't put the spinner on it, so I thought I could use this one, but I'm gonna make another one today. But you can fit postcards in here, photos, um, this, these are index cards. Those fit nicely. Here's some little bookmarks that I made. And these are journaling cards that are three by four and they fit in here perfectly too. So these are some background ones so I can stamp on them or a uh, letter on them and just stick them on a card or in a book. So you can use them for all different things. Now, if you wanted, you could make two of these you know, and make it even longer and just add two more and one on the end. So these can be configured in all different, uh, you need a measurement on the spinny part at the bottom, four inches. That's going to be four inches, Glum. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's make the bottom thing. Okay. One fan puts tags, which was so cool. Yes. I think that was from Jenny Atkinson. I'm not sure. Or four. Right, Casey, you can make it as big as you want. I mean, I don't know how big your desk is, but um, now what I'm gonna do on here is I'm gonna keep this white. And the reason for that is I'm gonna wrap my paper around it this way to make it a little stronger so it stays in that shape. And we're also gonna use some of our red line tape to keep it together into a square. And then it will be strong enough to support the other boxes that go around it. So I've already gone and cut one and I'm going to cut another one. Now this is the gift box. This is the piece that we want. Okay. So just make sure that your mat board covers. I don't know if you can see from the top here down to the bottom. I could go that way. Couldn't I like this, you know, and just make sure that you cover all your pieces. I'm going to cut these other ones too, because I can use them for labels on the front of my box if I want. So I'm just going to put my mat board on here, get my big shot, and I'm loving using my new cutting pads. They feel so good. All right, and oh, people coming and going out of my house before the uh, alarm went off. We didn't even know we had an alarm. It was on outside and inside, just making you crazy. <laughs> Nobody knew how to turn it off. Okay, here's another one. So you're gonna need two of these to make our box. And then these I'll just put aside and keep for later for our labels or whatever. We're probably not gonna get it all decorated up, but you know, enough to, so you know what to do. All right, so now we have our two pieces of the gift box. All right, any questions? So I'm just gonna score. Or bend on the score, bend on the score. You're going to hear it. It's like, did you hear that? This one didn't do it. All right. And so to make our box, we're just going to go like this. And that is going to form our base. And look at how fast that was. Okay. So let's get that set in there right. 
and it doesn't matter. Now, I did keep my tabs on just to make this a little longer, but you don't have to if you don't want to. All of this is just, you do it how you want. Now, I'm going to use tape just for, I'm going to use the thick stuff today just to uh, make it go a little quicker, and this will keep the um, top and bottom together, and then we'll go around and do the sides too. All right. And just maybe one here. It's so pretty out today. It's like 50. These guys are happy because they're not freezing like yesterday. It's like not raining, but if it rained, it'd be horrible. I can't imagine they could even do it. Okay, so now we have our base. So I'm just going to peel this up. Do you have the wider tape in my shop? No, I don't. And I was thinking I should get some because it does on here. These, um, where are they? These are wider. I mean, you could do two strips, whatever you have. But I think I may order some just because it's kind of handy. I don't use it that much, but when you want it, you want it. Okay, so we know where we're putting it, and we're just going to place this on top. That's also going to reinforce our bottom. All right, 71. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I think I can still, that was a little bit crooked, and I don't want to do that. That's all right, no one's going to see this, so if you mess this up, not a big deal. But just make sure you get this in straight. Okay, that's good. All right, so see how that just comes together like there's your box. All right, so now we're going to take some more tape and we're just going to secure this around so that when we go to put our paper on, it'll be all ready to go. We'll peel it off and... So what I do for this is just kind of line these sides up and, you know, wrap that around. I'm just going to keep going here. It's not very straight, but as they get stuck together, it's easier. And I'll probably do another one at the bottom. And after you do a couple, you figure it out. And then you have then you have to make another one. <laughs> so then you can use all your tips that you learned on the first one. But that's pretty much like all crafting, I would say. So these are probably not going to match up, but that's okay. This is going to get covered up with paper. So don't worry. This is just like a preliminary. Because you embrace the metric. No. You know, when I was little, they told us we had 10 years to learn it. We never did. We never learned it, and we never had to. <laughs> Be good to know, though. Okay, so this is a little tedious, but I know that you are discussing in the group. And we'll be ready in a minute. All right. I was going to go ahead and cut all of the post boxes. I only got a couple. Oh, maybe I got three done. So we'll do one together. Okay, so now we have our plain box ready to attach our post boxes to when we get them cut. Okay, are there any questions? You can use hot glue, Elmer's. You can. Um, the hot glue, I feel like it gets dimensional sometimes because it's thick. So I like these, but you could. You totally could. That's too bad. Too more info better with measurements. Mm. Yeah, that day never came. I know. Okay, so here's that. Let's go on to the next. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is make our four little post boxes. And these are ones that I cut from the paper. And the thing that you need to remember is where the front and the back is because you want your paper. If it is uh, directional, which this is, and I did it wrong, but I don't care because I'm going to cover it, and it still has pretty leaves, and actually I kind of like this because I could add a label and it wouldn't take away from the paper. So you have to remember that, oops, this is how it goes together. So if you have the pretty pattern and it's on the back, you know, 
um, but you have to remember to face your die this way when you're cutting it with these points going up and the direction coming here because that's going to be the part that you're going to see. Okay, So I did two like this and I'm going to go do two like that. So I'm just going to take my easy cut adhesive, I trimmed it down to size, I'm going to peel that off and stick this on. This is double sided adhesive. So this is really easy to do, but if you have another way to do it, then, you know, that's good too. I just want it really stuck on there. And this stuff, if I feel like you have, the, it's really strong, but then also when you run it through the machine, the pressure of it, like, pretty much laminates it on your paper, and, um, you know, you have a nice strong bond there. So I'm just going to lay this on top. All right, now I'm going to um, cut my boxes. All right, and that's this die right here. So let's talk about this. Because normally on this die it has a flap. We're not going to use the flap. So we're just going to set our mat board right there. And um, I have to know that I've got a little lip here that I'm not going to use. And I'm going to trim this off just so I don't get confused. Because that happens sometimes, many times, <laughs> many times in front of you. <laughs> okay, the other thing you have to remember is you put your right side facing the die. How many times have I told you that and then I didn't do it? Wait, not this one. This one. Good Lord. So, but it's still pretty inside and I can letter it or do something, you know, fun on the outside, which I may do for something else. So all is not lost. Okay, but when you are, I'm, I'm showing you this because that is the flap that we're not gonna use. This is the side that we want, like we said, because this is the front, okay? This is where you can see, you know, this is gonna be the front of the box. So when you put it together, you're just gonna fold it up like that and tape it. So now that's the front. So you want to have your directional print up here at the top. So we're just going to hope I cut this long enough. Shoot. Huh. Well, that was tight. I don't want to. Well, you know what? It's just going to be on these sides. I'm not going to worry about it. Okay. And hopefully that's enough. Because usually I think I cut my board a little short. But that's all right. We can always work through these little minor problems. I'll tell you what, I feel like it's a new world. I am so relieved that the inauguration went over well, nothing happened, nobody got crazy. We have a new guy, he's gonna, he's got a plan. Oh, so relieved. Okay, and also, I forgot to tell you, right side facing the die, but you, you know that. Okay, so that's pretty. So now, yeah, you can hardly tell. I'm not going to worry about that. I could patch it if I wanted, but I'm not going to. Now we do have this extra little piece here, which we don't need. So we're going to trim that off. And to do that, your favorite, I'm going to get my blade out. And uh, I just had a new, a new uh, knife blade I put in there. So you'll be very happy to hear. Some of you are freaking out right now. <laughs> They think I'm a menace with my cutter. I'm just going to put my blade in this little score line so it's really easy and just do easy, slow cuts. You probably need two or three to cut through all of them. Maybe two, I don't know. Yep, there we go. So just trim this part off because that is uh, going to the flap, but we don't need that. Okay? So now we have all four of our little boxes. We are BBC and Leslie. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> New blade. <laughs> I knew it. All right, I'm putting my little cover on here. Okay. Isn't that a cool idea to put the uh, cork? Okay, so now we have two of this pattern and two of that pattern. So now we're going to just go ahead and score, or bend these. I always say score, but I mean fold. <laughs> I don't know why. Every time I listen to a video, which I try not to do, I hear myself say it, and I just am like, why do I do that every time? 
Anyway, you get the idea. You see me doing it, and that's more important. All right. Where did that come from? How weird. Did you guys see it? Yeah, we don't always know how. That's for sure. Ugh. A disaster. But I think we're good now, so... All right, so this is how they're going to go together. So I'm going to go ahead and quickly put my tape on. And I, like I said, I'm going to use this um, half inch. And I just want to make sure that I'm putting it on the right way. Yeah. These go on the inside. So these are all going to be stacked up so I don't mess them up. got to get a system. Then it's back to the drawing board. What a pain. So you don't need a whole lot. This should hold pretty well. But you are asking it to do a big job for you, to, which may be to hold scissors and somewhat heavy instruments. So, you know, don't be stingy either. All right, one... So is everybody else watching? I saw that poem. That 22-year-old girl, Amanda. Did you see that? It was amazing. Ugh. Gives you hope. You want the wider tape? Yes. It is It is convenient. I'll get some. I, I should have the uh, Easy Cut adhesive coming today. Today or tomorrow? I'm not sure. So I'll update you when it gets in the shop. All right, we're almost there. We're going to put these together. These go together really quickly. So you see, if you really had a system, you could crank out a couple of these in one sitting, you know? All right, let's go ahead and just peel these off and put them together. I know some people use the pick. That probably is a good idea. Where is my die pick? Well, gee, it's in my little caddy. Look at that. Oh, let me spin it just for the fun of it. Okay. Now, to put them together, we're just going to place this flat on your desk, line these up, and... Oh, that was not good. If you do this really slowly, you can match up. You can peel it up. Oh, that one did it too. Shoot. All right, don't do that. Go slowly. But it's good to know because you might do this. I was kind of hoping I wouldn't do it, but... Okay. Oh, come on. I mean, that's the thing. It is sticky, so... good. That one looks good. Good enough. Okay. One together. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, that does work pretty well. Oh, also guys, put on your calendar February 3rd. We're going to have a lot happening that day. That's going to be our release party for chapter one. And I'm also going to be going on to create and craft just by phone. Ann Melvin, our friend, is going to be doing the show, and uh, they asked if I could call in to a couple of them, so I'm going to be doing that. So I get to see what Ann is doing. Oh, shoot. Come on. She is really amazing crafter. Her and Sharon. It's like, oh, I'm always so happy when they're doing my stuff. So I'll, I'll be posting something with the links. The only thing about that is, is you have to watch it live. 
so hopefully they don't interfere. We'll have to change our live if, if the time is, uh, inter you know, um, conflicting. We'll figure it out, and we'll let you know. We'll give you time to get ready. All right, so these now are, now that I got the hang of it, Uh, wet glue. Yes, that would. But for the sake of the video, I, I'm doing this. But yeah, wet glue would be good. That is true. This is pretty strong, but so would wet glue be. I would use my art glitter. Oops. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, I put it on the wrong side. Ah, uh, how did I do that? All right, let me show you a trick. Hang on one second. If you do that, if you put your tape on wrong and you don't want to mess up your paper, just get some baby powder and put this down because it's kind of messy. Get like a paper towel or something and just sprinkle some of that on there and it takes away the stickiness but it also um you know you, you're not tearing you don't have tearing paper there although that's going to bug me i'm i might cover that but see here it's not sticky at all so i'm just going to go ahead and put my tape on the correct side i don't know why i did that yeah i mean i did it on all the others I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. You were yelling at me. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. You're a good friend. But sorry. I just can't see it all and, and do it too. All right. I'm not sure what everybody's saying. Goofball. <laughs> oh, well, three out of four were good. <laughs> kind of. You have talc on your desk for that reason. Vicky caught that. Oh, I'm sure you were all yelling. <laughs> Too late. Well, you know it wouldn't be a good video if it didn't have a couple mistakes in it, so I can show you what not to do, right? My stomach is growling because I'm on day four of the chicken salad diet, and it's still doing it, so I'm hungry. Thank you, Vicki, you tried. And Glum, whoever else. Oh well. All is not lost. Ugh. Okay. All right, so now we have our four post boxes. And we have this. All right, so we're gonna cover this. And what I did was I took a piece of paper similar you know and uh, you just have to remember to cut it this direction wait where is it you know so if you have text when you're cutting it for these you're going up and down when you're cutting it for the, the uh, base here you want to cut it sideways like this uh, this way when you're doing your gift box and when you're doing these, because you're cutting up and down, you want it going that way, okay? You'll see. But I just cut mine ahead of time, so. And what I'm going to do is just kind of peel this off. Well, that would have been smart to do the same, start in the same place, but still should work. And I'm just going to place this, like right here, and hopefully this is going to wrap around. Oop. I might want to go a little taller here because, see, now you could have trimmed this off. That really, there is, because you have the depth of this one on the bottom, this one's going to be shorter, you know? but. It's only a little bit, so I would measure it up to the top there. So let's start it here on this side. And we're gonna have to overlap, but don't worry. All right, 
So just try and line it up as best you can, covering the top. The bottom doesn't really matter that much because, you know, it's underneath and nobody cares. Maybe they do. I don't. Now I'm just hoping that this is going to wrap evenly because sometimes it likes to just, you know, it's good to score it and then and press it down. See, it's going up a little bit, so just kind of pull it over this way if you can. And you could add more tape if you wanted. I only did the two, but is everybody doing okay? Do chickens eat salad? You know, they, their, their chicken that laid the blue eggs laid them. They're so pretty. Jess was just taking pictures right and left of her her chicken that laid the blue eggs <laughs> and she has more coming oh. well that's why that one's not sticking down okay so that's good and then let's just um, go around the corner with that and this is going to be covered up so again don't worry too much we can always go in here if you don't like that and put some glue and you know clip in fact, I probably will do that. And then we'll just take another panel. So we could start that here. Yeah, that kind of runs into the next one. So actually, I might just trim that and wrap it a little bit around. So I'm gonna cut that. Hang on, let me go cut that. I hope nobody's screaming at me. No, don't do it. go around a little bit okay so I think I'll just add a little tape here and we should be good so then we have our box done yes the blue eggs she used the blade off camera no I did not I used my cutter pillar always always dependable <laughs> and that has a rotary I can't even put my hand on that blade okay so I'm just gonna <laughs> she is merciless oh I gotta take this off so do you get the idea guys you were cheapskate and only covered the corners that would be showing well that's another way to do it that is true. Wish I'd thought of that. <laughs> then I'm just gonna kind of bend that around. That ought to, and like press from here. Oh, well, I'm not loving that, but let's see. Well, you know what? You're not gonna tell. Can't tell. Um, now, the other thing that I did with this was I built up the bottom. So let me show you that. Just because it irritated me that it is a tiny bit, um, you know, longer. See that? So I just added a couple more bottoms. And the way that I did that was I just cut one more strip and did three more pieces. And that's how I attached my bottom. So let's just go through here. I am going to add a little bit of glue just to close these up. And I've got my little clips. So just to, you know, keep everything secure. I'm just going to go around. I probably should have added my tape right at the top, but. I'm going to do all the glue and then I'll come back and clip them. Were you yelling at me to do that? <laughs> you could have. All right, let's just squish these in. I mean, they're not going anywhere, you know what I mean? But we have a minute, because we have to cut that other three pieces. And if you clip them on the ends, that's pretty good. 
can't see it anyway. Yeah, I know, that's true. And I could ink it, but... I mean, I'm gonna use this, you know, so I'm not that concerned about having this perfect because it's gonna get dirty the first time you put a pencil in or something, it's gonna mess it up. And that is okay because we make this stuff so we can use it. All right, that ought to do the trick. Okay, so we'll let that sit for a minute. And then let's cut that square. And hopefully this is it's going kind of long, but I really wanted to get all this in one shot. So let's cut one more square. I should have done that, but you guys are very patient. CC came out with a 12 by 12. Okay, let's get one more piece of that board. And I'm gonna use my knife again. And we can use these little labels, they're kind of fun. Uh, and if you don't like them white, you can always cut them out out of the paper and then glue them on top and make them look like dimensional and cool. All right, here we go. I'm talking to myself, Tanya, you know I do that. <laughs> myself and you. I'm lonely, I'm sitting here in my little studio all by myself, I have to, I have, to have a little fun. All right, so I'm going to get my trimmer again. Not my trimmer. My blade. My sharp blade. All right, and in this case, we don't want this tab on here. I'm just going to cut that off. And if we mess this up, it doesn't matter because this is going on the bottom. You could use chipboard or a piece of cardboard box. It's just to bump it up a little, and you really don't even need to do this step, but um, I am I just like it. So here's one. Yeah, we might have to trim this off a little, too, if the paper... Well, let's, let's see what happens. All right, and the other thing I wanted to show you, and I didn't say in the beginning, but what I use on the bottom so it doesn't skid is you know that stuff that you get for the bottom of kids pajamas or you could also use contact uh not contact paper but like shelf liner like this stuff this non-stick that's what i'm going to use on the bottom and it really works pretty well i don't know if you can see it on here but um this is like the gripper. Well, it got dirty. I don't want to send all this stuff tumbling out, but we'll do it when we put it together. But I use this piece for a guide, and then why don't we just cut it while we're here. I'm just going to trace around it. And in fact, And you can make it a little smaller or just about the same. Get it all. Okay, so that's going to go on the bottom. All right, and if you buy these, um, I did run out, so that a couple people didn't get them. But if I send these along, if you buy the cra crafty carousel, I do uh, send them as many as you get. Okay, so here's four of these, three of these, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom here, just to bump that up a little, so we can set this so it's even. See what I mean? All right, let's just tape them, or let's glue them, actually. I don't think they'll come apart. Pressure of them. Okay. Here 
Here I go again. Okay, that worked pretty good. Okay, I maybe only need two. It, it depends. Just see what you need for yours. That's sticking them together fine. And then once we do this, the pressure of it sitting on there will keep it keep it down. And if you want, you can go around the bottom here because I see this is gapping. I probably should have added my tape more down to the bottom. But again, this is all like cosmetics, which you're not going to see really because you're going to cover this with a post box. So I'm just doing it so it's not kind of hanging off. All right, and then I'm just going to add one more thing of glue and I'm going to stack that on top of my box. Does anybody have questions? I don't know about amazing, but... <laughs> Mitziana and team, I just keep thinking this time last year we were at the trade show and it was so much fun. All right, this... Um, I think I have to weight that down. Let's get... This, uh, this is what I use. I've got these numbers here, and they're really heavy, so that'll keep it on there. Okay, so this should be dry, so let's just put these away. You don't have them in the Dollar Tree? I love these things. Okay. <laughs> or glue, so yes. Okay, so now... We've got our box. I'm still getting a little bit of this coming off here, so I'm going to add a little more glue. So you need to do that before you put these other boxes on because you don't want them so that the paper is pulling them off. When you put something heavy in there, you know, and the paper is like trying to come off. So don't do that. Just make sure you have everything stuck down. I should have added more tape, and I think I did on the others, but. Okay, so this looks good, and I think that's square. No, it's not. Well, that's not bad. All right, so maybe we should do this before we get going. Um, we're going to put our little carousel on. Now, this I might use hot glue, but I think the same as with the others, this tape is, st is strong. You could use um, the glue dots, you know, whatever you have that you think is going to hold it. But I'm going to use this, and in the end, the weight of it will keep it on. And then we're going to add our little this stuff. Okay. What was the die she cut for the bottom? Um, this was the gift box, Gina, and I just cut it, you know, it comes in this three, three panel thing. So these are three squares that, you know, it was sitting on, so I just trim, 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 trim. And that's three of them. So I use three, but you don't have to, that's just me, I'm a freak. But, oh well. <laughs> uh... Thanks for letting us know. You used East 6000. Okay, yeah, that would work good. That works great for anything, especially with metal. That's nice. But, you know, whatever you have, don't go buy stuff. I mean, use your supplies. Okay, let's see how it goes. But you see the 4-inch one? It just fits really well. All right, let's peel these off. We're almost done. Thanks for hanging in, guys. You do like to shop, Leslie. And that's not a bad thing either. And I appreciate all of you who come to my Etsy store. I really do, because that's how I can keep doing these. I have to make money somehow, you know. And I can't travel teach anymore. It's driving me crazy. All right, so then we're just going to stick it on here, okay, and just center it, you know. And set it down. 
All right, and then you have, yeah. this is the piece that, you know, goes around. And then we're gonna put this on here. So I would trim this a little bit because I don't like it sticking out. It just, that's kind of a wild color. So I'm just gonna trim a little bit off here and a little bit off here. So that most of it is on, but you know, maybe I'll do the edges. And then I am just going to go ahead and use some more of this because I know it works. And stick that down. Now you could probably use a brad. I don't know. These holes are pretty big. So I was thinking you could just get a brad and stick it through, but I probably wouldn't do that. Who better hush? Can I ask, where is your store? Helen, yes, it's on Etsy. And um, maybe somebody there could post a link. That would be great. And I will let you know when ThermalWeb gets in the store, because it should be here any day. That's this stuff. You want nice, sturdy adhesive. You would put another square on the top of the metal thing, then the green stuff. Oh, that's a good idea, too. Well, we could do that. I have another one. Yeah, why not? I do have to trim this down, though. It's a little bit bigger. So let me just... Uh... I don't know if this is right, but... I'd be okay if it's smaller. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that works. Okay. Why not? Actually, I could just glue the green stuff to this. See, there's not any a special way that you have to do this. It's just however works for you and the th using the things that you have. Because there's nothing worse than wanting to do a project and then it's like, I don't have that. Ugh. So think about, you know, what else do I have that I can use? And always, uh, the tips are great. Okay. Yeah, because that'll keep the whole thing flat. Although the other one I just did directly to, and that worked too. So whatever you do. It'll make it a little bit taller, not much, but... She said some are in her Etsy. Yeah, I just got more carousels today. They're four dollars, and you get the little square, just because that's a pain. You're not going to go out to the store in the middle of the night and get some footy pajama, <laughs> non-stick stuff. Okay, crowning moment. Wait, let me do the corners. You ready? We still have to put the, uh, trim the corners, okay. Yep. Okay, good. There we go. Look at that. Now this did elevate it a little. On mine, oh, we still didn't put our boxes on, so that's going to cover that whole thing there, okay? So don't worry. Okay, so let's um, let's just use glue to attach our boxes, just because that's quicker. And I'm going to use rubber bands to hold it on. All right, so let's look here. Um, I hate to cover that, but I'm going to have to anyway, so let's just lay that in the center. Keep the ends up and just, you know, make sure it's, uh, it's got equal things on the side. Now somebody had used little round, I forget what they were, little round circle things and they put their pens in there. So you could also... Use these to clip these on. 
just to make sure. Uh oh. Okay, it's still. And you could ink this after. Oh, my hands look so dry. Okay, so I'm going to alternate these boxes and do, you know, that one then this one. So now we'll do that. That one needs a little squirt of glue there, too. Whoops. Mm. Okay. So, another one in the middle. And the rubber band, I, mean, I hope I have one that's long enough here. I may not, because what I did with the last one was I kind of clamped that around too. So let's, maybe if I put a couple dies on it. You know, you want that at the bottom here to also, let me just get, I've got some big rubber bands. These are pretty strong, so if you put these around, that'll help them stay in place. See, that presses it against here. Okay, so that's this one. Everybody doing okay? Yes, yes, if you did one, put it in the comments, or if you guys want to see more, go over to the fan club. And it seems like there were some in a, um, a an album, or maybe we could make an album to put them in there. So just so you could get more ideas and ideas for what you want to put in here, you know, you might want to do cards or tags or I don't know. I was thinking, I, I think it would be cool to put um, cards and envelopes. So when you want to write a thank you card, you know, like here. You know, you could put your stamps, a pen, envelopes, because these, I've been doing these little mini, um, what do you call those? Slimline, mini slimline. Those fit in here. Jenny had tags in hers, the journaling cards, you know, so that would be a handy thing. All right, and we have one more. Am I doing this right? Yeah. And we'll put this on, and then we're pretty much done. And we can talk about some other options. Oh, I hate to cover that. It's so pretty. I hope this rubber band is not going to explode. Nope. So have them on hand, because I forgot about that. But I did do it the first time. So just nudge that up a little. And then that rubber band is really holding it in pretty well. All right, and I forgot to do this. And if you wanted to just like take a couple dies and set them on top of here for a little bit, that would help it too. But otherwise, here is our little caddy. Now the other thing that you can do, and some people did this, was they chop this down and use this as a little accent in the back here, you know, like inside. You could do that to give it a little shape. The only thing about it was I'm more of a functional person, so I didn't want all those things getting in the way. It's really pretty, though. Um, you could do a label here. You know, that's one of the ones we cut out. So you could letter on here or stamp on here, write whatever, um, you know, if you want to keep everything always in that compartment. So, yes, it would. That's a good idea, Loretta. Who wants to volunteer? Oh, Mitziana, okay. Uh, what else? What is everybody saying? What do you think? Isn't it pretty? So look at this. And this will hold 110 pounds. It's never going to get to that. But you could also add paper inside if you wanted to uh, cover that up. That would be pretty. But like I said, if you're putting in things like 
it, it, you know, pencils and things, it's just going to get dirty. So I just couldn't see doing that. But even if you inked it or something, um, that would be a possibility. So one other thing I wanted to show you was, now this same die, the gift box, um, is used to make this. So it is a handy die. And also, it is, um, you can, anyway, I have lots of ideas for that. In fact, I think about one for class right now. I love that die. I do have a couple left in the shop. I only have one or two post boxes left. So if you want the post box, that's this one. Let's show you again. If you haven't, um, this is what we used. If you came in later, um, we used the tape. I used half inch instead of quarter inch, but it doesn't matter. Whatever you have. I know. I want through two or three or four of them because I want to put one up on my desk, a pretty one that matches my desk. You're not technically useless. <laughs> Hi, Ann Savage. Oh, I know. It's fun. Any hints for the release, too? Well, Leslie... I can tell you now that the folio book is out that they go with that. Two of them. And then there's another one that's a scoreboard. And it's one that I have done before, but in a different way. So that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, you could use tons of these. Y you could have these in every room of your house with different stuff in it. You, I mean, you really... Well, I wouldn't, but you could do utensils, you know, or um, hair things or whatever in the little kid's room. Okay, the Easy Cut Adhesive, that's what I use to cover the boxes. The first time I cut the boxes first and then I glued these on, but it, it just took so much time it wasn't worth it. So this time I just put the adhesive on the mat board, covered it with the paper, and then I cut it. So, new scoreboard with no thumb no it's a new scoreboard yes okay and then I use mat board last time I used the chipboard but I do I like it you know it depends on how if you want more a rustic look or uh, you know or you just want some utility one then I would probably go with the chipboard you know but both are good and this one is just pretty and it's Valentiny. Isn't that cute? Even, I probably used a couple sheets of paper to cover it, not that much. And it spins. Oh, thanks, Ulrika. Okay, ladies, we'll sneak peek them. They, I know. Okay, and then this is the post box, the one I only have one or two of, and then this is the gift box. Okay, so if you don't have them and you want to make this, but... I think the gift box would be the main one that you'd want to have because that's this big square. Any other box that you have that could fit on here, this is three and three quarters wide. So any other box that you had, you could do. If you had the old caddy, uh, I bet that would work. It's a little lower, but that should work. Um, probably more. I don't know. Play with it. And if you want to add on more, you could do a double double pouch here. Let's see. Where did I put that other one? This one. You know, pretend we glued that together. If you wanted, you know, you could put two of these. Or maybe lower, you know, so it's like tiered. That's kind of cool. You'd have to build up the bottom a little more, but so what? You could stack cardboard down there. So that's kind of fun. It would be higher. So you just have to kind of see what you used, uh, what, what you're going to use it for and how much space you have than six sheets of map board. Um, you use six, okay? You use two for the middle and one for each of these. And you still have little scraps left. Right here. They're not that big, but you know, you have probably a piece that long left over. This one took up the whole sheet, you know, but then I have these little accent pieces left over too. And I have red tape line everywhere. You know, you could even just stick these in here. That might be kind of fun. You know, stick them in between. But again, that would be in the way, but it would be more decorative. So it just depends on what what you're doing. You could even go that way. That's kind of cute. Cut it down a little and have that. So however, however you want to do it. And the bottom. 
Yes, so six sheets, yeah, that's right. Or paper pockets, that'd be interesting. The seven would be the three on the bottom. Yes, I didn't count that. But that's not really necessary. I just did it because, I don't know why, but I did. Because I, I wanted these to be level. Which actually they may be anyway if I just had them go below the box. You know, you wouldn't see that, so. Is there a big price difference? Uh-oh, I lost it. Not board and chipboard. Um, there can be, Tanya. I just like the white of this one, you know, the white color. It's just kind of fresh. So it'd be nice for a present if you gave this to somebody, like one of those phone stands. Oh, and our phone stand, also made out of the gift box die. Very, very handy. I don't have a phone because I'm using it to film this, but... You know that's how we made that so this is a really really versatile die the other thing that you might want to do is take some washi tape and go over the edge here to kind of keep them together you could use cereal boxes for the bottom oh yeah sure and yeah you wouldn't have to use that or corrugated cardboard you know because that's thicker amazing how many tools yeah I know it I know, it blows your mind. And that's another class that we did. That was a paid class. I'm thinking about doing another one of those though, because I found some better ways to do it. So, okay. Yes, lots more options if you have the older scoreboards dies too. The second die was called the, well, I'm not sure what, the, these are the two dies. <laughs> this is the post box and that's the gift box. Beach Retreat, that's right. <laughs> well, good. Um, I don't have, Tanya, the phone stand is, um, that was a, a retreat. That was one that we did in a retreat. So I don't have that one up listed. I know, wasn't uh, Jenny's beautiful? Yeah. Yeah. Beat a glue topper. I know, it's good. Hey, Jackie. Hey, Teresa. Well, you're welcome. Okay, I gotta go, guys. I'm really late today. Um, it's my son-in-law's birthday, so I think we might be doing something with them. So we have to go make arrangements. But thanks for coming and checking out the all-in-one caddy video. So go ahead and take some fun things and put them inside and see what happens. All right? And Think up what you want to put in there. Look at this, how they all fit just nicely. Love it. And on Tuesday, come back because I have a really fun idea to use with a laminator. Okay? Good. All right, everybody have a great weekend. Thanks for coming. See ya. Bye.